This is Mosquito Render and Active Shade. In this video, we will discuss how Mosquito Render implements Active Shade in 3D Studio Max. Active Shade is the interactive rendering technology offered by 3D Studio Max to give you real time updates of your changes in the scene. We have the scene here with a teapot, a floor, and a daylight system. We are now going to call the active shade. First, we want to make sure we start with iRay. That's the default renderer in 3D Studio Max. That's our reference to see how active shade works in 3D Studio Max. We'll bring up the active shade window and uh, it takes some time, but now you see the rendering and uh, in active shade, we want to change now the hours of the day. As you can see in the viewport, the light has changed, but not in the rendering. So we press active shade again. Now it represents the sun position. You can see in the background, the modeling viewport, our sun is moving now down. However, no update. Again, we press active shade. So that's how it works right now. Mosquito render introduces a whole new way how active shade works. It's faster, it's easier, it's more interactive. Let's see the synchronized video and have a look at how fast Mosquito Render works. In the lower right corner, we have Mosquito Render. The rendering was already there. We started at the same time. Now we are going to adjust the hours of the day again. Same time. Instantly we get the feedback. Top left corner, we don't get any feedback at all. We have to press Active Shade again. Now we have the same result like uh, in the lower right corner. Now we are going to adjust the minutes. As you can see, no interactive update in 3D Studio Max. We have to press Active Shade every time we change something in the settings of the daylight system. This is not really interactive and this is also not really helping in speeding up your modeling process. In the same time, we could do 10 times sunsets and you have interactive feedback with Mosquito Render. That's what we call interactive rendering active shade in Mosquito Render. Okay, let's give this active shade another try. Maybe it doesn't work with the daylight system. So how about an animated object? We have an object here, simply animated, lights, all nothing fancy, nothing complex here. Easy materials on it. So we are going to do the same test again. We'll use NVIDIA iRay so that we know how 3D Studio Max works with the active shade. Press the active shade button, it takes its time. And there we go. Beautiful. Refraction, everything in there, illumination seems to work all fine. Now let's see if we get an update when we have animated objects. No update at all. It's the usual. We have to press the button Active Shade. Then it takes its time. And there we have the update. One thing uh, we notice is that motion blur is missing. So we have to turn it on to get motion blur. Okay, that's a little bit uh, of work, but let's see if it's updating. We have to press the button to update, and now we get this nice motion blur effect. Still no updates, doesn't matter. So maybe we did something wrong. Let's just try the scanline renderer. That's the default max rendering system that's in there for, for a decade now. Let's see how the scanline renderer works. Okay, we get the motion blur without touching anything. It immediately does it and also the material works. However, no update on animated object. Nothing is working. Okay, let's go back to NVIDIA iRay. We have to check the motion blur button again so that we can finally check, okay, what's going on. So now let's try moving the camera. Maybe that works. So we're moving the camera now. Dolly in. Ah, it seems to work, great. Oh, what's that? Okay, now that worked. Okay, we have our, no, we don't. Something strange is happening here. That's, sorry, I can't use that. So that's the active shade, how it works in 3D Studio Max right now. 
Let's see how Mosquito Render handles Active Shade. We'll bring up Mosquito Render Active Shade view now, and we will do exactly the same what we did with 3D Studio Max default renderers. So we can zoom in, can zoom out, we get instant feedback, no delay, nothing, instant feedback. We can even play our animation, works with refraction, reflection, everything works in real time. So we can adjust every single bit and part of our scene in real time. That's what I call active shade and that's how it should be. Mosquito Render is a pure GPU render and it has the best active shade integration of all renderers right now for 3D Studio Max. Thanks, thank you for watching this video. Check out our other videos as well.